Gochang is one of the larger islands in the Gulf of Thailand. And there is a car ferry, which makes getting around so much easier. And in fact, I enjoy driving through the jungle road, which are surfaced and not too challenging. Most of the development is on the western side of the island, looking out across the Gulf of Thailand, where there can be some spectacular sunsets. Most people visit the island to escape and be themselves, or maybe the person they always wanted to be. Others go to party, and Gochang is a great place to celebrate Songkran. Me, I go there for the topography, the wildlife, and yes, the sunsets. But the island is also worth exploring for its history. So I went to explore the eastern side of the island. Well, I'm here at the Ga Chang Memorial, right on the southern tip of the island. I had to drive round the north and all the way south because there's no connecting road. And it really is a beautiful and remote part of the world. Difficult to imagine that in January 1941, there was the big sea battle here. HTMS Tonbury was sunk. The torpedo boats were overwhelmed and somewhere out there, there were huge French cruisers blowing out of these poor little Thai vessels. The orders from the French leaders were clear and simple. Seek out and destroy Siamese naval forces from Satahip to the Cambodian frontier. On the evening of December the 15th, 1940, the French squadron Weidanka, and based on aerial intelligence, decided to mount a dawn attack on the Thai vessels at Gochang. Now at battle stations, the Thai Navy fired first, and whilst the French denied it, they did cause some damage to the French flagship, the La Motte Piquet. But the La Motte Piquet was a much larger and better armed vessel. With no response to such greater firepower, the sea Ayutthaya was forced to head for cover among the many islands and islets. The small torpedo boats were quickly overwhelmed and abandoned, which left the HTMS Tonbury. The Tonbury came under fire but was able to hide among the towering islets. What remains of the Tonbury is in the Naval Museum in Samut Prakan. Sadly, Captain Meng Prong Virapan was killed in the battle. And today the battlefield has a tasteful memorial to those who died. The battle was a victory for the French, without a doubt. But the outcome of the war is somewhat ambiguous. 
the Japanese brokered a peace and following their intervention, French Indochina became a vassal state effectively. Thailand became an ally of the Japanese, though modern history now stresses that there was a significant resistance movement in Thailand. And the Thais in the early 50s erected the Victory Monument in Bangkok, claiming that the Franco-Thai War was a significant Thai victory. Not so sure about that. But by all accounts, during the Battle of Gochang, the Thai Navy fought with incredible courage. They were outmanned and outgunned, but they showed bravery, which even the French victors felt compelled to comment upon. Gochang really is a tropical paradise. But there are other islands in the group as well. And Gomak is just a short speedboat ride away. The only vehicles on the island are local pickup trucks and motorbikes. which means that it's not that easy to get around. Yes, it is unspoiled and another place for escapists. But my own thoughts are that it actually looks better from the air. Well, I'm pleased that I'm on the Gomak Expressway. At least that's the occasional flight. Drivers driving forwards, not backwards. I must say that of the two islands, I personally prefer Gochang. <laughs>